Let's try this one more time. Ah! Okay, I don't think you're supposed to be in here, buddy. How did you even get in here? Did you glitch through the air or through the glass? Oh, he's dying. Wow, that's so loud. Can I push you? <laughs> Can I push you into the water? Just all the things that cap. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's so sad. Well, I got some. I got some resources I wasn't expecting then. Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf coming at you with something different, something new on my channel. Uh, this is C Block Rustic Waters. It is a Sky Block esque uh, style map uh, where instead of being up, uh, you know, above a void, you are trapped in a you know glass bubble underneath the the, the ocean's waters, and basically you got to survive. You got to expand your base out, and you know basically you know survive like you would in a regular sky block world. So when you start, uh, you start with this little penguin penguin guy uh, in here. Uh, he is Chili Willy. He will eventually make a run for it, and you can see he's probably going to go uh, and escape, and then either die underneath the water or swim out somewhere. I I do not know. You've got a penguin. You've got your tree. Oh, there you go. He is now swimming off to freedom. Uh, I was kind of expecting that because he didn't. Uh, I've been playing this on stream with some friends. Uh, I don't think our penguin uh, stuck around stuck around for very very long. But it is a really really fun mod pack. Like uh, any skyblock map, you start with a tree and some dirt. And actually, let's break these saplings here because if they grow up, they might eat into the uh, apples we've got. So. Apples are going to be your main food source. When you start, I, I don't know if it happens for everybody or not, but I end up with these, you know, saplings and a couple of apples just sitting on the ground. You got to run, pick them up because they will despawn really, really quickly. There's also a forced despawn uh, that happens like, I don't know, I think it's like every 20 minutes uh, where any items that's sitting on the ground will just automatically get cleaned up. Uh, so you got to be aware of that. But these, this is going to be your main source of food to start. So with the, with the leaves, you can take these apple sprouts, just place them on there. They will grow up. You can see that one's actually already grown just a little bit. Uh, this guy here is not a hundred, hundred percent yet. He's only 50%. There's a little tool tip. Uh, my face cams have covering it over. Uh, but then there, you know, there's a fully grown one right there. Uh, we've also got these two images in our inventory that we start with. So if we right click on the first one, it is do you stream. So basically what it's doing is it's telling you how to set up to use the Twitch spawn mod. Now, if you're not streaming, you don't need to worry about this. This does absolutely nothing uh, to your game. But if you are streaming, Twitch spawn allows you to kind of uh, interact with your viewers uh, a little bit. And it takes a little bit of setting up. We Played around with it a little bit last night, but I don't think we had to set up 100% proper. Uh, the second image is two ways to play. C Block Rustic Waters is a heavily customized adventure that incorporates multiple mods into its progression. This entails utilizing a series of artisan work tables, tools, and fluids. So basically, there are a, a simple mode and a normal mode. Now, I believe the Default is the normal mode. That is what we're playing on. That is what I'm going to be doing these five minute videos on. Uh, the simple mode is there if that's if a way that you guys want to play around with it as well. But beyond that, I don't think there's anything in here that we really need to look at. Uh, the last thing though that we start with in our inventory is the quest book. So I'm going to open that up. Basically, we've got four tabs down at the bottom. Only really one's going to make a whole big difference, but I'll go through all of them really, really quickly. We've got our theme tab. That that basically lets you change the look of the quest book. So I'm going to stick with the standard light because it kind of feels like a old timey captain's log. Uh, but there's some really cool ones here if that's, you know, something that you like a little bit better. There's also the party tab. This is if you are playing in a multiplayer world, either on a server or, you know, across the land. But basically, everybody that's on a team shares uh, the advancement. So if one person makes an advancement, everybody can claim that reward and it, it really, really really speeds up your progression. Uh, but other than that, you know, there's nothing really here for us because we're just playing in a single player world. Exit is self-explanatory. That's just going to get us out of the book and we can just go back up. We can hit the regular escape key as well. That does it. Uh, quests is where we're going to be spending most of our time. So this is the introduction quests here. You can see we've actually got a quest completed already. That was the welcome aboard one. Uh, but if but there are also multiple tabs of 
you know, multiple different styles of quests that all are all important. They're all sort of like leading up. Uh, basically, you want to start at the top, work your way down, though you can jump around a little bit if you've got the resources to kind of do it. So we're going to go back up to the introduction. This is where we're going to be spending the first quite a quite a bit of time, I think, is up here in the introduction. But we've already got one quest done. Welcome aboard. That is complete. Uh, we complete that by having a quest book. And that's since that was given to us at the beginning. It is a very easy one to get. Uh, what we get as a reward is a one thin wetsuit cap, chest, leggings, and boots. Uh, welcome to the Sequest DSV, a small underwater hub where you'll spend a majority of your time going forward. Your goal is to test the capabilities of sustained life in this harsh and environment and eventually escape this oceanic world. Take this wetsuit as a meager bit of protection until you find better if you survive that long. So basically what it is, it's it's a wetsuit that will offer us a little bit of protection somewhat from the elements. That means when we go out and explore our world, we get a little bit of protection. I think it gives us, you can see down in the bottom corner, there's some O2 uh, counter there. I think it protects us. It gives us a little bit more oxygen. And then also there's a little white ball in the middle. If we watch here, you're, you're not going to kill yourself again, are you? I'm just, if you watch the center, there you go. There's a little arrow that went down. Uh, basically that's our core temperature. So I think the wetsuit helps us when we're in the water. It stops us from losing our temperature really, really quickly. So uh, that is going to be it for this one, though, guys. I know we didn't actually do a whole lot in this uh, episode, but it is the beginning quest. So I kind of felt we had to have one to kind of show it off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal wolf also check out the description below there'll be a link to my discord page i would love it if you guys stop by to say hi as well there'll be a link to my patreon page if you enjoy this channel if you enjoy this content you want to support stop by check it out there are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters but that is it i'll see you guys next time goodbye gotta be careful i don't break the glass